For the love of shooting, you can't beat a Ruger new model single action revolver. Today we're going to show you how to disassemble a single six, Blackhawk, Bisley, and Vaquero revolvers so that you can perform routine maintenance, cleaning, and inspection. As any time you pick up a firearm, you want to keep it pointed in a safe direction, keep your finger off the trigger, and make sure the revolver is unloaded. Open up the gate and rotate the cylinder to check every chamber. To complete the job, you're going to need a good screwdriver. Pick a flat bit that precisely fits the slot in the grip screw and grip frame screws. You need a 1 16th inch punch and a 3 32nd brass punch with a non-marring hammer for removing the pivot pins. You will also need a disassembly pin or finishing nail as well. If you have a Bisley, you will need a 7 64th size Allen wrench to remove the grip frame screws. Use a flat, clean, spacious work area with good lighting. Cover the surface with a soft cloth to protect the gun finish and use a tray to hold any small parts that you will be removing. You should wear a pair of safety glasses anytime you disassemble a firearm. Let's start by removing the base pin and cylinder. With the gate open, depress the base pin latch and pull the base pin forward. Remove the cylinder. Close the gate and install the base pin to disassemble the remainder of the revolver. Remove the grips. Cock the hammer exposing a small hole in the mainspring strut. Insert a disassembly pin or finishing nail into the hole in the mainspring strut. While maintaining thumb pressure on the hammer spur, squeeze the trigger and ease the hammer down to full forward position. You now are ready to remove the five grip frame screws. Make sure to take note of which screw came out of which screw hole so you can install them in the same way. If you have a Bisley, the top two screws are located here and are actually 7 64th Allen screws, not flathead screws. To remove the grip frame, pull rearward and down to separate it from the cylinder frame. Be careful not to lose the cylinder latch spring and plunger or the pawl spring and plunger. To remove the trigger pivot, you'll need to use a small screwdriver or something similar. I like to use a 1 16th inch punch. Depress the gate spring so that the punch lodges between the spring and the pivot. Begin tapping out the trigger pivot and then remove the punch so you can drive the pivot completely out. Push out the hammer pivot. Make note of which side the detent is located on, the ball side or the gate side. You now can remove all the internal components, starting with the pawl hammer assembly, then the trigger transfer bar assembly. At this point, your new model Ruger single action revolver is disassembled for cleaning, maintenance, and inspection, thanks to this Ruger Tech tip.